What's going on, Colts Nation? I appreciate you joining me for another video where today I'd like to talk about cornerbacks. Okay, and we know that going into the season, and if you don't know, um, going into the season, we look like we're going to have five cornerbacks on the active roster. Maybe we lift somebody up as a special teamer, um, but for the most part, five guys on the roster and obviously one of these guys coming off an Achilles injury there's a lot to talk about with our guys and that's where I want to start is talk about our guys right and I want to show you guys um, the tweets that I had seen I thought were really good um, when we talk about this conversation um, and it's kind of what sparked this conversation I already had a plan to make a video about somebody I thought we should go get I figured I'd just lump this in because I thought this was really interesting we're looking at Nate Atkins and Zach Hicks over here on Twitter where Nate Atkins says the Colts have five total cornerbacks on the roster of those Three can play outside in nickel, and one of those is coming off an Achilles tear, which again, you know, Dallas Flowers coming off the Achilles. And then you have three cornerbacks on the practice squad. Of those, one is a nickel, one is a special teamer, and one is a rookie in need of a red shirt year, which is Jalen Simpson. Um, and says it's a little dangerous. Then you have Zach Hicks, who comes on, says, uh, you know, some fun facts about the Colts cornerback room. Only Juju Brents was drafted in the first two rounds of his draft class. The room combines for 19 career interceptions. Kenny Moore has 17 of those. And Kenny Moore II has 5,798 defensive snaps in his career, which is absolutely incredible. So many. Um, and then the other four combined for just 1,977. So inexperience all over the place in secondary, which is what we know, right? We know we're going to have um, some guys that are inexperienced. But we also know, again, we have a guy coming off an Achilles tear. We have a guy uh, that was hurt all year last year. Our highest drafted guy from the cornerback room um, is the guy that missed all of last season. He can be really good. He just has to be on the field, right? He also is a big reason that that 75-yard uh, touchdown happened in the Texans game. But nonetheless, pardon the interruption. I just want to let you guys know how much I appreciate you stopping by the channel. And I also want to say that when I look at the analytics, 50% of the people that come by and watch this channel are not subscribed. So as Peyton's telling you to do here, hit that subscribe button right now. Turn those notifications on so you get notified when any videos come out. Now, if you need any further proof of why you need to subscribe, when you look at the numbers, 62.4% of the views on this channel over the last month have come from people that are not subscribed to the channel. So again, if you're one of those people, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you so much. And let's get back in to the video. He's supposed to be cornerback one, and he was hurt all of last year. Dallas Flowers was cornerback one, and he he was hurt so when you look at it because of the injuries because we're so thin at the position because of who we have on the practice squad Micah Abraham not coming back and I saw you know Zach Hicks had uh, joked with somebody who said they were shocked Micah didn't come back to a practice squad and you know he said that you know Gus probably wanted somebody that was older than 25 in the cornerback room and that's probably true it, it was meant to be funny but it's probably true so Overall, um, cornerback room needs some experience, which leads us to a conversation we already had. So I'm not going to go over the whole thing, um, but we did have this video right here. Okay, going over a kilo Witherspoon. And, and I don't know how nobody signed him. Maybe he's just looking for the right opportunity and, and seeing where he's going to have an opportunity to play. And maybe somebody's going to need him. I thought he played well for the Rams. Um, and I think that's somebody, when you're talking about veterans, you need some more veterans in that room, especially on the outside. You need to fill your outside positions um, and get some more depth for the outside. I think Akilah Witherspoon is a guy that makes sense to go get. He's still available in free agency, and we obviously we need more bodies. We have five guys. I think it'd be smart to take six. They want to, and Chris Ballard mentioned he wants a rotation of ten guys on the defensive line that they can roll through. So I thought, hey, maybe maybe we're going to end up only taking nine, maybe only eight guys on the defensive uh, line rotation. We could add a corner. We could add a running back. Um, 
you know, we don't. I guess that's really all we need. As I look through the roster, I would say get a fourth running back if you if you think you need it, um, and go get a cornerback. I feel better having six cornerbacks on the roster. Doesn't seem to be the way they want to take it, but if they did, if that was something, right? You bring in Akila Witherspoon and you send off Taven Bryant. I don't know about you. Sounds like a real good trade off. Am I wrong? You let me know down in the comments, okay? We got rid of Taven Bryan and only rolled with nine on the defensive line rotation, but had six cornerbacks, Akilah Witherspoon being one of them. You okay with that? You let me know, okay? Because in my mind, I'm like, that's a no brainer. Like, in terms of talent, like, boom, you're, we're sky ride. Defense is getting better. Bottom of the roster immediately gets better because Taven Bryan's gone and Akilah Witherspoon's in. So, I don't know what we like so much about Taven Bryan. Like, and I'm not going to get in a spiel, but why is Taven Bryan on team? Um, but nonetheless, um, here we are where I I just, as I look through the free agents, um, we already talked about Kareem Hunt and had a video about that. If you didn't see that, then as soon as this one's done, go check that one out and let me know your opinion on that. But I just think that obviously cornerback is a spot that we're talking about safety also and and we'll talk about that but i i just i think Akilah witherspoon it, it might be a long shot for him to come in because is he going to play right away like he's probably looking for somewhere where he can play and be a part of a team where he's playing and he's helping them win games is that going to happen right away i don't know but i'd feel good about the fact that we bring him in he could be, and maybe we even do a rotation, right? Which might be a little dangerous if, if you're thinking, if you have a rotation at cornerback, you're not good enough. Um, so even having that thought, not great going into the season, but, um, you know, just whatever we have to do to get them in, right? To get somebody in, is Juju going to be the guy that sits out if he comes in? Would Jalen sit out? Um, would would it just be Dallas Flowers and Akila Witherspoon would be would be the backups at that point? Whatever the case, um, I think the Colts would be wise to overpay. We have plenty of cap space to overpay Akila Witherspoon to come in for this year and be a good veteran in that room with Kenny Moore. Um, so that's just that's my thoughts on the cornerback situation. Of course, I want to know what your thoughts are on bringing in a veteran. Um, and what do you think the possibility is of us being able to bring in a veteran at this point with who we know is supposed to start in the whole situation? Whatever it is, you let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Of course, don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you continue to get notified anytime we have any more content on this channel. Of course, appreciate you stopping by for another video. And as always, take care of yourself. Take care of each other and go Colts.